district in San Francisco, where you can see the San Francisco Police Department has surrounded that RV. They believe that a shooting suspect may be inside. Now, the shooting actually occurred around 3 o'clock this morning when an argument had occurred and uh, the victim was shot in the leg at least once. Now, he was transported to a local hospital where he's expected to make a full recovery, but the suspect in this case fled on foot. They do believe that that suspect fled into that RV. Now, since then, we have seen tactical units from the San Francisco Police Department set up a perimeter and surround that RV. In the last half hour or so, we also saw a negotiator arrive here at the scene. I can tell you that Alamany is shut down between Whipple and Farragut here in the outer mission. It looks like it's going to be that way for some time. They do have large searchlights on that trailer or that RV right now. They have surrounded it. As this story develops, as we get new information, I will pass it along. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Jackie. Live in the traffic center, too, to talk more about those road closures because of that event going on in San Francisco with this standoff happening. So Alamany is an arterial that parallels Interstate 280 right here in the outer Mission. And in this area, Daria, in fact, it's in between Mission Boulevard and Interstate 280. Now, there is an Alamany off-ramp right. from 280 in the northbound direction, but it's past the scene of this incident, so I don't think freeway traffic should be affected so this morning. So it's just the local traffic in this outer uh, area. Right. Area, and it's a two, it's a two to three block stretch of Alamany, so it'll be easy for people to divert around it. Although your best bet is to just avoid it completely.